Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Not our official sponsor, Greenwood Stock Trading. If you want to learn how to make some passive income, some extra money, so you can invest in your future and your kids' future, give them a call for a free 10 minute consultation 281 760 3170. Go get to the bag. All right, man. Blair Cobb says he is a free man. He's no longer with Golden Boy. He's free. I just want to be free. <laughs> free. See, free said he's no longer with Golden Boy telling Fight Hype. So they come with an offer that's respectable. Um, you know, he said he came in as the B side fighter, proved, you know, versus Maurice Hooker. I was Side is this a hiccup with Rocha, so he basically free. So Golden Boy just signed another top prospect, you know, for what I hear. I don't really know, but apparently he's pretty good. So uh look like Oscar De La Hoya, you know, getting serious, getting his shit together. Um if it, if it make if it make dollars, it makes sense. That's what you gotta understand for a lot of these fighters, bro. And for him to get Terrence Crawford and show him some hospitality over there to be huge, but it just seemed like you know, maybe he got enough experience as a promoter now. I mean, in my opinion, real quick, you gotta you gotta treat this shit like a, a, a team. I'm pretty sure we all, you know, love sports team. If it's, you know, uh, football overseas, we call it soccer here. If it's football here, basketball, you gotta have scouts, man. It's too much. It's too much raw talent going around. Too much talent in general. They don't get the shine in boxing. There's a world champion out there, just like Terrence Crawford, bro. And they gotta scout. They gotta start scouting that talent out here, bro. And the promotional company that can do that, you know, Top Rank does a great job of it, but it's a lot more talent than Top Rank out there, to be real. There's a lot more talent than they get. So De La Hoya could really be getting some great fighters under his under his under his promotional company if he just starts scouting, you know, going to the gyms, talking to people. You know how I many good fighters out there? Their record may not indicate it, but they really good fighters. They just need the resources behind them to to really to really to really take off. But you know, with Blair Cobb, man, I mean, yeah, he showed versus Maurice Hooker. We thought he was gonna get cream. He he dominated Maurice Hooker, and he said that he got the right training team behind him now, and that you know he had a full camp to train for more Hooker, which he didn't have versus uh. Uh, Alexis Rocha and stuff. So, I mean, he said he's a free agent today, come with a better number or whatever, to him with a contract that's satisfactory what he needs. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's fights out there for him. I mean, I mean, he could have fought Adrian Brown. I remember Bernard Hopkins a couple years ago saying that he wanted to sign Brown and match him versus uh, Blair Kyle. Why not? You know, um, why not? So, there, there's some matchups out there for him. You know, there are some matchups out there for him. So, um, you know, I don't I don't know if PBC would be interested. You know, but you got to understand, too, PBC, you know, they losing. They, they, they about to lose the welterweight division when Earl move up. Danny got up out of there. Ugas, you know, we don't know what he going to be when he come back. Keep Thurman, we don't know what. Is, is he going to come back? I don't even think he can hang with those guys anymore. Um, um. So really, they losing their grip on the division. Robinson Jr., we don't know if he's coming back at all uh, at 40. But, you know, really at 47 and at 40, he really ain't got nobody that's really a rise to the cream of the top. So 47 about to be wide open, honestly. So, um, but like I said before, I mean, he proved, uh, Black Cop proved that he, he deserved to be a prize fighter. He deserved to be on TV for sure. You know, that hooker performance should have got him something, something better. You know, maybe, you know, and Rocha, you know, obviously, had he can't correct versus Rocha, that could be him getting the world title shot versus Terrence Crawford. You know? You know, but it is what it is. He came up short, and, um, you know, he didn't come correct. For whatever reason it was, he didn't have a full camp. But, you know, you know in this game, everything is just spur of the moment, erratic in the schedule. You know you got to stay ready. That's just what it is. You got to stay ready. You know? And, you know, I always say this to Charlo Twins do a great job of that. They always fizz. You never see them out of shape. Think about it. When last time you seen the Charlo Twins out of shape? Either one of them motherfuckers. They always a supreme shape. And a lot of that, probably that fucking Houston Heat. But they got some good-ass genetics, dude. Real talk. They genetic freaks, bro. You know? And I, and I and like I said before, I be critical sometimes what they say and how they move. Those motherfuckers can fight. And I, I love watching both of them dudes fight. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I've been watching Jermail from the beginning. So I, I like when he boxed. I like when he banged. 
I think Vers Castanos, he put it all together. And that, that, that guy that put it all together, Vers Castanos, ain't nobody gonna beat him in boxing. Not Canelo, not Triple G, nobody around that white class can fuck with that, that Charlo. Real talk. And I, you know, I said it. You might fuck with that, but with Blair, I mean, yeah, you gotta show dudes that we show them the money, show them the respect that he deserves. But everybody feel like they just, you know, they deserve respect. One thing he doing is he creating a brand for himself. A lot of these fighters don't know how to brand. If he was smart, you know, he probably called Adrian Broner. They called Danny Garcia, started their own company, for helping dudes financially and helping how they, you know, plan they not, they present, they future, and on how to, you know, how to uh, how to build the character. You know, how to how to do it, you know, how to how to how to build an actual brand and, and be flamboyant, but also still be advertiser friendly. I think they can do that. If I was them, shit, two Philly niggas and a Cincinnati nigga, ain't none of it too far away. If I was, if that was me, I'd link up. Maybe you could find a fourth one who's pretty good. Deontay talked about investing his money, you know, and, and, and commercial real estate and you know, um, residential real estate. They can, they can just put they, they can put their minds together, bro. They can help these dudes out. Cause you got to understand, there's a present, there are future in investments. You got to think about that shit. You know, everybody think about the future. It's, it's a presence in investing your money. You know, it's, it's credit unions and stuff that's going to give you a credit line, a big ass credit line that you can use. You know, high interest, high yield counts with high interest rates. Well, compared to, you know, at one point, they're not as high, but all types of shit you can do. I mean, you got, you know, Eddie Murphy, Jay-Z, you know, telling people that they can invest in art and see a return. So you want to invest in stuff that appreciate. That's the thing about it. If you got a taste for things that appreciate and don't depreciate, I mean, you be you gonna be well off. You know, that's and, and, and that's for real. That's why people got a sneaker fetish. Yeah, sneakers you can say depreciate, but sneakers can appreciate. Think about that for a minute. You know, you, you know they, they they you know if you you know if you got the right sneakers, you know you can hold on to them and flip them. You know, and I will say this about today's climate. We we. Even though you in a in a uh, world of DUI, DIY with YouTube and how to do and all that, you know, but you actually, you know, in a world that people still don't want to do it. You know, people that made uh, uh, people that made hustles of uh, they made they made businesses out of hustles. Hanging TV then became a business. Selling T-shirts and printing them then became a business. You know. So if you going to work every day, you ain't like got you a little something on the side. You know, we got to work towards that. Put money up, whatever it is. You know, I always quote Kashan when he said, somebody told me this. He said, if you got one, he said, if you got, you know, one income, two income, well, but he said two incomes is too close to one and one two in income is too close to none. But with Blair, you know, he always going to have a, a, he always gonna get somebody, you know, you know, uh, uh, opportunity uh, to promote because he can talk. He got uh, character. He got personality, and that's what the game missing right now. And actually, these niggas fighting, but personality too. A lot of these dudes be dry. You know, they don't want to do the media, but then don't understand why people don't want to buy the pay per view. That's the crazy thing about it. a lot of these dudes don't want to do the media. They don't want to do the media part of it, but then want to wonder why people don't want to do the interview, why people don't want to pay to see them. Crazy. All of it, all of it go together. All of it intertwined together. All of it go together. So you can't have one without the other. But like I said before, top rank. I mean, shit. You know, somebody, you know, you know, somebody need to start position self to, uh, to take over 47 from Al Heyman. For Al Heyman reposition itself, but it's prospects that you could look at, you know, that you could look at. There's fighters at lower weight classes that eventually can rise to the top and, and be at 47. But right now you looking, it's Virgil, it's Jerron Ennis. And the crazy thing about them, they could be at 54 in the blink of an eye too. I think they were saying Virgil Ortiz was talking about he want to move up and get he already just want to get a title and move up. So you think about it, you know who else there? 
you know, Kyle Velasquez, he, he getting up there, uh, Bruce Putin, stay on this, you know what I'm saying? You know, so it might be an urgency for T.O. Fima Lopez to get up there, Josh Taylor to get up there, um, you know, a Regis Progress, you can get, but a lot of them, you know, Regis and, and Taylor are already older, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, somebody could be positioning themselves and Blair Cobb could be a part of that that scheme to position itself to, to dominate 47. It's a, it's a glamor division. It's an original division and it's the heavyweights and smaller divisions because they still wear eight ounces. The last weight class to wear eights historically, anything above 47, the recent historic history, they wear tens. This and the two ounces is, is, is big. You know what? Somebody say buy an ounce, get two ounces free of marijuana. Man, nigga, that's a hell of a deal. <laughs> Not a half, but well, yeah, Blair said he free. I free, man. I free, man. You can't take this from me. So, De La Hoya might get his mind right or somebody, you know. But him and him and Jerron Ennis in Philly, that would make sense. But I heard Jerron Ennis, you know, somebody asked him. He like, nah, bro. I didn't understand why not. He going to speak. You going to win probably. I mean, shit. But, hey, it is what it is. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Um, hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We got live drop video for the NC1 support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Memo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole thing. Hope nine. Link tree, the first link in the description. Peace.